I'm not, I'm, I went to business school, but I hated business studies. I hated finance. I could not make heads or tails of it. But I know some very basic things that I can share with you just on this point. How people are swindled. It's not, it doesn't take a genius to understand some things. You buy a house for $50,000. Maybe you bought a house in 1920 for $50,000. You borrowed a mortgage though. 30 year mortgage, fixed rate, whatever. How much do you end up paying in 30 years? After 30 years? No, you pay uh, at least 200,000. You pay at least 200,000. Now it's been 30 years. It's not 1920 anymore, it's 1950. The house is now 30 years old. Does that mean the materials of the house are worth more or less? The materials of the house, the foundation of the house, the plumbing in the house, the electricity in the house, everything is older, it's worth less. Okay. Now time came for you to sell the house. You put in 200, you're at least going to sell it for what? 250, at least. Okay, 210, fine, you're really modest. 210, what did you buy it for? The original asking price of it was 50. Now you've, you're going to sell it for 250. Somebody else bought the house. Same house, same brick, same wood, same plumbing, same square footage, same everything. They bought it for 250. They also took a mortgage out. What are they going to pay in 30 years? You see where this is going? So as generations go by, is owning that same piece of property, that same land, is it the same value or less and less value? It's less and less value. Now imagine, you, uh, let me tell you how, how the, the, the monetary system, we've accepted certain robbery as just n normal. The, the uh, treasury uh, mandated citizens to give up their gold. At one point in American history, it mandated citizens to give up their gold. Okay. So they come to my house and say, give up your brick of gold. So, okay, fine, take it and look at me cash in its place. So instead of the brick of gold in my safe, now I have $10,000 in 1910 sitting in my safe. So it's either the brick of gold or $10,000. Okay. A hundred years go by, my great grandson opens the safe. What does he see inside the safe? $10,000. He does not see a brick of gold. Now he goes back to the treasury and says, here's what you gave me. I'd like my brick of gold back. What does he get? A coin. He gets a coin for 10 grand, maybe two coins. Have the people been robbed of their assets? Absolutely. That's what riba does. That's what riba fundamentally does. The fluctuating value of cash, the foreign exchange, arbitrarily the money goes up and the money goes down. Your life savings become nothing overnight. The house is worth nothing. The house is worth, uh, I know Muslim friends that got, that got caught up in this stuff. The house is worth like 150,000. But the market was bubbling, 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 and it was 300,000. They bought the house at 300,000. Then they took out this mortgage, which means they owe 450,000, 500,000. Then the market collapsed, and now the house is worth 120,000. So even if they sell it, they're still in debt for something they never actually received. They still owe $450,000. $500,000 for something that doesn't exist. An artificial loan of no value. There's nothing they can do to recover that money. If that's not robbery, I don't know what is. You know? You know, the more complicated you have to make a contract, the more legal terminology and jargon and loopholes and sub, sub points and sub points and refer to section this and refer to section that and clauses and this thing. And the smaller you have to make the font of it, that's a very good indication that if it was a bigger font and it was clearly stated, everybody would see that it's robbery. Right? That's, that's our, our modern financial system. You know? وَأَعْتَدْنَا لِلْكَافِرِينَ عَذَابٌ muhina, And we have prepared for disbelievers, عَذَابٌ أَلِيمًا A painful punishment. لَكِنِ الرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ However, those who, that are deeply rooted in knowledge, الرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ I told you about this brother who came to Islam just learning the financial system, right? <laughs> just from that. Because this can't be right. There's something fundamentally wrong, not just from a haram, halal point of view, like it's halal, haram on us, we can't consume that sort of thing. It's destroying people's lives. Rabbi is a cancer that's destroying people's lives. You know? وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ And those that are deeply rooted in knowledge minhum, among them, وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ And the true believers, in other words, those that are deeply rooted in knowledge among the people of the book, those who really understand revelation sincerely. In addition to the believers, meaning the Muslims, 
yu'minuna bima unzila ilayka, they actually believe in what has been sent down to you. Those that are deeply rooted in knowledge, when they come genuinely into contact with revelation, they're not going to have any hesitation accepting it as such. وَعَدَ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Allah has promised those who believe and uh, did good deeds. لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَأَجْرٌ عَظِيمٌ They're going to have, or they exclusively will have forgiveness and a huge compensation. Allah Azza wa Jal in the previous ayah was talking about uh, taqwa and adl. اِعْدِلُهُ أَقْرَبُ taqwa. Now Allah talks about iman and good deeds. In other words, these two things are inseparable. These are, uh, one is a manifestation of the other. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا And those who disbelieved and lied against our miraculous signs. This takdeeb of the ayat is mentioned generally, but we have to constantly put it in a, con- in a context. The context this time is that of adl, of justice. So those who don't stand by justice, أُولَٰئِكَ أَصْحَابُ الجحيم, Those are the people of al-jahim, the blazing fire. When Israel is told that they're broken up into tribes, 12 tribes, 12 leaders, and Allah said, I'm with you so long as, la إِنَا قَبْتُمُ salata. If you truly are those who, if you're truly going to be establishing the prayer, وَآتَيْتُمُ zakata, And you're going to be giving zakat, وَآمَنْتُمْ بِرُسُولِي And you're going to continue to believe in my messengers that will come in the future, that is. وَعَزَّرْتُمُهُمْ عَزَّرَ يُعَزِّرُ تَعْزِيرْ In Arabic means to help. It's one of the words for helping. But it's a special twist on the word helping. It is to help someone out of respect for them, out of honor for them. You know how you grab a teacher's bag in the suitcase sometimes? Let me get that for you. You help your parents out, pick up the groceries out of respect for them. You wouldn't want them to carry it. That's ta'zeer, ta'zeeran. Special kind of respect. So you will aid my messengers just out of how much respect you have for them. This, by using this word, Allah has highlighted not just the role of messengers as someone we believe in, but someone we're supposed to be driven to help and out of respect. We're supposed to have tremendous respect for uh, prophets. وَأَقْرَبْتُمُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا And you would give to Allah a beautiful loan. If you can do these things as a nation, لَأُكَفِّرَنَّ عَنْكُمْ سَيِّئَاتِكُمْ I will, I swear to it, I will bury far away from you, definitely, all of your evil deeds. وَلَأُدْخِلَنَّكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ And I swear to it, I will definitely, 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 three times over, enter you into gardens at the bottoms of which rivers flow, right underneath them rivers flow, فَمَنْ كَفَرَ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ Then whoever would disbelieve even after that, or after that, مِنْكُمْ From among you, فَقَدْ ضَلَّ سَوَاءَ السَّبِيلِ Then he has gone off to a far off path. Now kufr here, مَنْ كَفَرَ Whoever disbelieved is not just any kind of kufr. Kufr in these instructions, whoever refused these instructions, establishment of salat, giving of zakat, showing respect to the messengers, these are things one after the other that Allah Azza wa Jal highlights for Bani Israel. Now, Okay, فَبِمَا نَقْضِهِمْ مِثَاقَهُمْ لَعَنَّاهُمْ You remember this, a similar ayah in Surah An-Nisa? فَبِمَا نَقْضِهِمْ مِثَاقَهُمْ 